What is going on everyone? My name is Theodore and welcome to the second episode of our Home Hawker series. This dish that we're doing today is popularly found in Singapore across many hawker centres and coffee shops and it is believed to originate from West Sumatra, Indonesia. Beef Rendang I can only describe this dish in two words Extraordinary Gastronomy Simply because there are just so many spices that goes into this dish into making it so vibrant and flavorful. I won't deny and I'm going to say that this dish will require slightly more ingredients than other things that you may normally cook. But I guarantee you that the steps are very simple and definitely rewarding. Let's get started. One of the key things that you'll notice in this recipe is that we replaced the regular fat coconut milk with a low fat version so as to reduce the saturated fat content of this dish for home cooking. But that being said, we made every attempt to retain the traditional flavours from using authentic spices for this dish. For a healthy adult requiring anywhere between 1,700 to 2,000 calories, the recommendations for total fat content should not exceed the values between 57 and 67 grams per day. Whilst for sodium, the daily intake should not exceed 2,000 milligrams per day. Having done a nutrition analysis comparing the traditional recipe to our home hawker recipe for a 100 gram portion, there is an observed decrease in energy by 44%, total fat by 72% and sodium by 26%. Again, some of you may question the taste, so there is only one way to find out. probably would choose this one, uh, this less moist version, simply because like this, you know they say right when you are, when, you know when you're younger and you don't clean your plate and then they're like, oh that's the face of your husband. Well, my, my husband's face will be very oily, like no thanks. Actually, to be honest, I would prefer this because I feel that if I get, if I eat this more, I'll be very jelly mm. because of the oil. So the one on the right has a lot more, um, gravy attached to it, you can feel that the, the spice and the oil is very overpowering. When I eat, I feel very like gelat. Yeah. I feel very gelat. This one, you just taste yeah. gravy. This is much oilier, so that's true. I feel slightly healthier when I'm eating this. 
it's something that I eat every day, like rice or noodles, I'll actually feel really guilty because there's this much oil in the dish itself. Especially when you put them side by side, then you're like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that's like a lot of oil. Ew, gross. <laughs> I'll be like, stamp of approval. <laughs> <laughs> There was? <laughs> In all honesty, no actually. I actually didn't realize that at all. Mm. But no fat would be good lah. <laughs> I guess I would rate the one here. Plus presentation and the fact that it's healthier, I guess I would give it maybe an 8. Uh, and this one probably a 7 or 6 because like it looks terrible. <laughs> like it's so oily. It's a... Uh... 8 out of 10 and this, say, I give it a 6. This dish is a 6 because I'm actually, uh, I like to eat a lot of sambal and uh, gravy filled food but the thing is, I know as a health conscious person that this dish is a lot healthier uh, and it's definitely taste wise about a 9 out of 10, for sure. Now that we're done making this dish, do some justice to it and serve it with a hot steaming bowl of rice. And if you would like, do click on the link below and you can purchase a list of the ingredients to this rundown recipe that has been conveniently put together for you. Take care everyone, stay healthy and see you next time.